Welcome to World Electro Parts. This time I want to show you this error that some people find sometimes on Windows 10 when they try to update the OS. You will see an error like this that says error encountered and it says there are there were some problems installing updates but we'll try it again later. If you keep seeing this and want to search the web or contact support for information, this may help. And they give you this code that ends with 0643. Well, we can actually show you how to fix this. And the best way to do it is to open a command prompt on Windows, which we can do by typing CMD and then you need to open the command prompt as an administrator so we click on there and then of course you need to authorize it you you can click yes and when we are on that window we're gonna type the following these are just the instructions the exact instructions on how to fix this error while trying to update Windows 10. So first, we're gonna type this command that says reagent C, reagent C, and then space slash info. This will give us an idea if there is a recovery uh, directory or recovery location for Windows and we do have a recovery location here we see the global root directory so we not we have to disable it to be able to fix it so now let's see we type reagent C and then we type space slash disable this will disable the recovery partition while we try to fix this error. Now, we need to shrink the OS partition and prepare the disk for a new recovery partition. So we're gonna enter the disk part utility. So we type disk part and we're in. As you see, the prompt now says disk parked and once we are in there, we need to type list disk to see what are the disks that we have. On this computer, we have only one disk, disk zero, which is the one uh, we're working on. And then we need to select that disk. We need to tell this part that we want to select that disk to work on it. So we type cell space disk space zero and enter. Now we have selected disk zero. And then after that, we need to type list part to see what partitions we have on this disk. So we type list part to see the partitions and we have four partitions on this disk. So now, next, we're gonna select the OS partition. So we type cell part space and the partition that we're gonna select is the OS. So we need to select partition three because that's the primary partition. Cell part three now we selected partition number three and we're going to shrink this partition a little bit the command is shrink space desired equal to 50 and then space minimum equals 250. now we type enter or press enter and right now it's shrinking 
the size of that partition. And what's, once it's done, it says successfully shrunk the volume by 250 megabytes. So, now we need to select the recovery partition we have. So we type cell part number four, because as you can see on our list, number four is the recovery partition we have. Press enter. Now partition four is selected and we delete it because we're gonna create it again. So delete, to delete that partition, we type delete space partition override. And there's an extra space there. So we fix it and then type, uh, type or press enter and the partition number four is deleted. Now we can type list part and you will see that we have only three partitions. So we're going to create a new recovery partition now. But in order to do that, we need to check what type of partition we have. If we have a GUID partition table or GPT, or if we have a master boot record partition, an MBR. To do that, we type list disk again, and our disk is GPT, it's not MBR. How do you know? Because there's a star under the GPT column, the last column on this list. So if there was not a star there, it should be an MBR, but the star is there. So this is a GPT uh, partition. So if this disk or if this partition, this disk is GPT actually, you know, we have to create the recovery partition. We type create space partition space primary space ID equals DE94 BBA and then four dash zero six V one dash four V four zero dash A one six A dash BFD Five zero one seven nine D six A C. It's a long list of numbers or characters, but it's that's the way it has to be done. Then we, you press enter, and the partition was created. Now, after that, we need to type the following command GPT attributes and after that we hit space equal zero x eight and then you type 14 times zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and at the end you type a one and press enter so those attributes have been assigned to that partition. And now we need to format that new partition. We type format quick and then uh, FS, which is file system equals NTFS space label equals quotes windows space re space tools and you type enter and it was formatted after that just to check you can type list vol to see what volumes we have and you can see we have the new partition the recovery partition is volume number four 
and then we exit this part typing exit press enter and then we type again reagent c space slash enable to enable the recovery partition again and then we can type reagent c slash info to confirm that it was created and it is it has been created so after this you can go back to the windows update screen and if you retry the update should go through without any problems and you should never see that error again as you can see the latest update now it's running through so we should go uh, smooth without any problems again this is wordelectroparts.com showing you how to fix this error when you update windows 10. visit us at wordelectroparts.com and we'll see you on the next video